Hey everyone, Church of SDFU. Um, today a bit of a different locale. Uh, sorry for the wobbly cam and the lighting. Um, just thought I'd make like a response video right now while it's still fresh. And um, this is to the Pursuit blog, who is asking the question in his video whether there is an anti-gay gene. So if if there's a gene uh, which causes homosexuality, then would there be one that causes people to be anti-gay or to not like gays? Um, so the first thing is, explanations for homosexuality are not all necessarily genetic. There are also some that involve various things that could happen in the mother's womb. So there's still not things that happen in the environment, there's still things that happen before the child is born, but not all of the explanations are necessarily genetic. Um, the next thing is, it's actually, you're comparing apples and oranges, because sexual orientation as science understands it, and as various uh, kind of uh, people have investigated, is mainly a nature thing. Whether it's uh, genes or something that happens in the womb that impacts on possibly what genes are expressed or uh, how some part of the brain forms or whatever, it's something that has nothing to do with uh, with your environment, right? Whereas your attitude towards things is something that is very much driven by the environment, by the people you surround yourself with, by the views you hear. Uh, people aren't born uh, Republicans or Democrats, for example. Um, people aren't born to uh, hate, I don't know, Asian people. Although some racists will want you to believe that, but that's not true, right? People aren't born to, um, to hate some specific ideology. That's all brought up. And so being anti-gay is not something which is in your genes. Sure, you may have uh, certain genetic traits which make you more close-minded in some way perhaps, but um, even given that there would be nothing specifically that would say that person is anti-gay or that person can't overcome the fact that they're close-minded. And in your comment to the laughing out that you left, um, you said, well, but isn't it a fair comparison because, um, because, well, if there's gay, there's anti-gay and they're two sides of the same coin. And um, I think the laughing out then said, you know, just because there's a gene for blue, uh, for blonde hair, that doesn't necessarily need to be one for non-blonde hair. I mean, I go a slightly different direction and say, yeah, well, there is an anti-gay, uh, whatever, gene or expression. That's being straight, right? I'm non-gay. That is the opposite of gay. The opposite of gay is not hating gay people or not liking gay people. That's an attitude. That's something completely different. The opposite of a gay sexuality is a non-gay sexuality, which I consider myself having. But the feelings I have about homosexuality... Uh, I'm very confident arise out of my uh, parents raising me, my education, the people that surrounded me, the influence that um, my education had on me. Um, it, it shouldn't have anything. Any interaction it has with uh, genetics would be very complex and would be, uh, there, it wouldn't be specific to gay people and it wouldn't be something that would be a major factor anti-gay sentiment would not be something that is very heritable in other words anyways see you guys all later church of sdfu